Uh, hello there. Uh, very often, and from time to time, I get the question uh, to recommend uh, several books for the beginners. And uh, I just uh, received several emails and uh, also in the, there in the comment box questions uh, like uh, I am 1900 or I am 1200 uh, rated online. So which books should I read at uh, this stage? So I was thinking about what to recommend and uh, I came up with uh, three books which I think uh, every uh, beginner or lower rated player uh, should read. Even if you are not that low, like uh, 1900, uh, if, even if you are stronger, and if you didn't read uh, these books or you didn't read books which are similar uh, to those which I will show you, um, I think I recommend that you uh, give it a try because uh, most likely you have some holes to fill in your uh, knowledge and uh, chess skill. So I came up with a short list of three books. So I don't want to give you like 15 books and, and then just uh, confuse you more. So I just decided to recommend uh, three books and uh, I will show you them in the order in which I think uh, they should be read. So uh, the first book I think you should be uh, going through is uh, called How to Beat Your Dead at Chess by uh, Murray Chandler. And uh, this is very very nice uh, book very nice composed book first of all it's a uh, hardcover and uh, the paper is very high quality so uh, you, you will have this you know there are some uh, fun illustrations but uh, the most important is that uh, well the diagrams are big so you can see uh, it's very easy to read it's very nice to hold in your hand so this is just the the optical and tactical impression of the of the book so uh, what is this book all about? It's basically about check, uh, checkmate patterns. So it is designed to give you the um, fundamentals of how to uh, how to checkmate, of course, but also how to calculate. Uh, don't don't think that uh, studying checkmate patterns is, is just uh, because you you hope that you will uh, get the position in your game in which you can uh, deliver uh, some kind of checkmate but also of course th this is true as well but also by doing uh, this kind of exercises you practice your visualization skill and uh, most importantly your calculation skills so uh, let me just go through this book very short so uh, the subtitle is uh, 15 deadly checkmating patterns so you have all kinds of uh, mating patterns Anastasia mate, uh, Arabian mate, Damiano mate, Petrosian draw, uh, double bishop sacrifice, Morphis mate, Grecos mate, mate. So many, many, 50. So I will not read all of them. So many, many different 50 uh, ways, 50 patterns of uh, mating patterns. And each chapter is designed uh, very uniquely. So let's just go to, okay, let's say deadly checkmate number six. Uh, it's called single rook sacrifice on h8. So, first of all, it gives you, uh, you can see on, on this side, it shows with arrows and, and uh, it, it gives you uh, two examples. And then, uh, so some, uh, in such chapters, they give you more. But uh, here, they give you two, two examples and they here explain um, what, is, um, what is the point behind the pattern. And then they go to uh, exercises. And uh, the exercises, uh, of course, I recommend that you should... Uh, so, for example, this chapter has um, two theoretical diagrams and four exercises, and this is it. This is the whole chapter, and uh, of course, uh, this should be solved by uh, sorry. This should be solved by just uh, try try to guess the move. Uh, of course, before you read the uh, the text, and then you can read the text. Uh, there is a solution, and there is a short uh, verbal explanation about the solution. So, I think this is very nice. And uh, this book can be read uh, with the, the help of real board. And uh, if you are the beginner and you want to uh, play over the board chess, then I recommend you to do so. To, so put the position on the real board, try to solve it. And then uh, after you, you think you solved it or you think you cannot solve it, then uh, watch uh, the solution. If you are uh, more experienced with chess notation, chess books, uh, chess diagrams, then you can do this uh, even without the the board you can just cover with piece of paper or with uh, hand you can just cover the solution look at the diagram and try to find the solution so the good thing is that the diagrams are really big and um, uh, the the printing is, is high quality so you will not get a headache if you if you stare at this uh, diagram for for long because you know in some books they they uh, 
tend to give small uh, small diagrams and uh, bad printing and then uh, your head st starts to ache if you watch it uh, watch the diagrams too long so i think this is uh, this is it so you go through 50 deadly checkmates and then i believe in the end you see you have test positions okay so after the uh, after the exercise number 50 you have uh, test positions and then you can go through this uh, test and uh, you can I, I think you have solutions so there are many many test positions and those diagrams are uh, small so maybe they are not so easily solved on the well, just through the book but I, I mean it depends how your site is and uh, in the end there are solutions so I think this is the first book you you need to read about the chess about chess in general so uh, go through all 50 chapters, learn mating patterns, uh, solve the exercises and do this in active way. So uh, go through first uh, two diagrams just to understand the, the, the theoretical background and then try to f solve uh, this, uh, these four diagrams. Okay, uh, second book uh, which I recommend is by Irving uh, Chernev. It's called uh, Logical Chess, Move by Move. Uh, this is the book I own only on Kindle. And this is in fact the only chess book I have on Kindle. I just wanted to try how it is to read chess books on Kindle and I personally um, prefer paper books. But okay, here I, I will show you Kindle because this is what I have. So this is, uh, this is the book. So a logical chess, move by move uh, by Irving Chernow. And uh, well, this is a very good game connect, uh, collection. So he has, I think, 30, let me just check, uh, 33 games. And they come in, uh, so this is table of contents. And uh, in, it comes in several um, subtitles. So uh, the king side attack, first 16 games, then the queen spawn opening. So in queen spawn opening, you have more strategical concepts. 23 games, and then the chess master explain his ideas. Uh, some. Uh, 10 games in which uh, which are annotated by the masters who, who play the games and the particularity in uh, for this book is that uh, it literally explains every move so from move one okay it has introduction just symbols and so on so this is how it is so um, game one Teichmann against someone else uh, Gioco Piano uh, opening and then he gives uh, you know like uh, I'll just go so every every move is uh, commented. So for example, this e5, then the comment, then knight f3, diagram, and the comment. So it has also many diagrams. So if you have some um, visualization skill, then you can, uh, maybe you can read the book without uh, the help of the board. Okay, so the next move is knight c6, and then many explanations why knight c6 is played then uh, bishop to c4, and then the explanation. So by going through all these explanations, you will learn some opening theory, some opening ideas. Um, for example, I learned from this book, uh, Minority Attack, uh, I remember. So when I wanted to learn about Minority Attack, I went to the chapter Queen's Pawn Opening, and I went through, I don't know, five or six games, and uh, I, really, I really learned the idea and uh, the point of Minority Attack in uh, Queen's Pawn Opening. So, so I think if you go through all uh, 33 games, uh, you will uh, learn a lot of uh, concepts, uh, opening ideas, opening theory as well. And um, I recommend doing this on the real board because you want to take your time and you want to think about um, about moves. And if you have time, it is good uh, when you go through master games, it's good to try to guess the move. So don't look at the move right away, try to guess the move and then look at uh, the book and see what move uh, master played and read why master played the book. So uh, this would be the second book, Irving Chernev. And the third book I would uh, recommend to beginners is a um, very famous classic, very famous small book. It's called Simple Chess, uh, written by Michael Steen. Uh, this book is written a while ago, but uh, it became very popular and it already has the status of a classic. So it was written in 1978. And then the second edition, uh, 2002. So it's from 1978, but uh, these principles are immortal in, in which uh, he's talking. And you'll see this is a small book. It's called Simple Chess. It's like, a 
it's it teaches you to make things simple to not to over complicate and to understand some very basic uh, strategical ideas and then play uh, for these ideas and don't uh, look for complications if uh, if there is no need and uh, most of the time there is no need so the book is organized in uh, seven chapters introduction plus six chapters and these chapters are introduction outposts so second chapter is outposts you learn about outposts weak pawns so how to play with pawns and how to exploit your opponent weakness fourth chapter chapter is open files so how to seize open file and for example i learned this from this book why why you should uh, have open file at all so what is the point of uh, uh, everybody knows when you have open file you have to put your rook on the open file and control the file but why and does it always may make sense to do so? So it's a very interesting chapter. Uh, then uh, number five is half half of half open files, the minority attack. So I was talking about minority attack in Chernov books. He also covers this. So how to deal with half of open files? Usually you have backward pawn, you have some weakness, then you can do with minority attack. Um, sixth chapter is black squares and white squares. So what does it square? Uh, what does it mean when? Uh, the notation says the I don't know black has a light square weakness. So what does it mean to have a light square or dark square weakness, and uh, how to exploit this weakness, and how to um, play if you have the, uh, this weakness? So what is strong bishop, what is bad bishop, and so on. And the seventh uh, chapter is space. So the concept of space, how to gain space, and what to do if you have space advantage. And uh, this is a very, very nice book. It gives you complete games. The, it gives you some diagrams, but it also gives you complete games. And uh, okay, this is introduction. Let's go to chapter one, outpost. I mean, chapter two, but uh, first chapter after introduction. So you have very short, very short introduction. And then you have a game, which demonstrates the, the principles uh, which are discussed in the introduction. And you have many, many diagrams. You see on every page, on every page you have diagrams, so it's uh, very convenient because um, I recommend this book to be read uh, the first time with the board because this is a bo book about strategy and you really need to take your time and think about the position. So this is not a book you will go just quickly. Like for example tactics, you, you see a tactical puzzle, you find a solution and you go to next. But uh, when you do strategical uh, books and uh, problems, uh, then you want to uh, take your time. So I, I recommend that first time you do this with physical board, but uh, then you can read it maybe in the second reading. Uh, you can even do it without the board because it really has uh, lots of diagrams. So you can every every key position is uh, marked by a, by a diagram. So you can even uh, after you, you you read after you understand the concepts. On the second reading, you, you don't even have to look at the moves in the game, you can just go straight to the diagram. So, for example, open on, on this diagram 31 and just look at the diagram and try to uh, figure out what, what is the best move and what is the, the essence of the position. So, uh, this is the, the book. So, the book has, uh, let's see, it has 80, 83 diagrams, so many, many diagrams. And... Uh, 160 pages. So it's a small book, but uh, it's a gem. It's it's very uh, very nice, uh, very nice book, a very useful book, and a book which is worth reading uh, several times. Uh, so this covers it. Uh, these are my three books which I recommend uh, for beginning players and for lower related players, and uh, for players who maybe didn't uh, cover this subject in the systematic manner. I think uh, all three books are available. Uh, very easily on Amazon or uh, wherever you like to shop your books. Uh, some of books are uh, available for Kindle, some not. I personally like uh, paper books and I like uh, my wooden physical uh, chessboard. This is how I read books, this is how I do chess. But uh, if you have some other way which works for you, that's of course perfectly fine. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, or leave the comment below. Uh, stay in touch and I'll see you soon with uh, more chess content. Cheers.